Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to Edgar Allan Poe. Now, if you don't know who Edgar Allan Poe is, well, that's not entirely surprising. Let me get out of this ghost here. He's a fiction writer from the 1800s, so you wouldn't have bumped into him anytime soon. You may have had a sh some influence on H.P. Lovecraft, I'm not sure. And this world kind of feels familiar to him. Um, but is also quite strange to him as well. Now, I'm not going to be in character 100% of the time. This is a test. This is... This is something I'd I'd like to try. To play with characters, create characters, and maybe grow it into something? I don't know. Um, but for my first attempt at this, I'm certainly not going to be in character 100% of the time. Um, I'm going to try to have Edgar react to the world around him as I would think he would. I've been studying up on the gentleman. I used to... I used to be into all that gothic, crazy, uh, you know, dark, dark writing, stuff like that. Lovecraft, Stephen King, uh, Poe, um, trying to think of who else, but I can't. It's been a while. So Edgar uh, wrote a lot of crazy stuff. He wrote The Raven, um, and quite a few other short stories and things. Um, he's dead now. No one knows for sure exactly how he died. Uh, he was found stumbling in the street. He was maybe intoxicated, maybe had syphilis, um, <laughs> maybe had a lot of different issues. And, uh, he died shortly thereafter, and he woke up here. So, again, this is this is just something I want to try. Um, I will try to react as Edgar and be Edgar whenever I can. Um, but it won't be 100% perfect. Uh, you know, I'm not an actor. And I, we're, we're just going to see how it goes. I have an idea of how I want to build him. Uh, I'm going to keep that a secret for now. Now, Edgar comes from the 1800s, so... A lot of the crazy stuff he's going to see uh, is not something he's familiar with. He he, he dealt more with uh, murder and suicide and things that human beings do, not things that crazy tentacle creatures do. So he's going to have to stick with what he knows. And he knows guns and he, he knows combat. But he's not the strongest guy. I mean, I I don't know, but I don't think Edgar did a lot of weightlifting. <laughs> uh, I think he did a lot of drinking. He probably did some drugs. He he was a homebody. So I'm thinking skill might be something he would be more adept to as opposed to power. Um, perhaps later he might dabble in some other things. But he, where he's from, he doesn't even know what those other things are until he comes upon them. So let's begin the adventure of Edgar Allan Poe playing Bloodborne, living in Yarnum, waking up after falling in the street and saying, God have mercy on my soul or whatever he said right before he died. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll find Reynolds here. Let's, let's, let's take a look. So I'm familiar enough with the game, or Edgar is not familiar with the game, but I am. I've, I've played this before. Um, we know what we're doing, we know where we're going. We've got some skill. But Edgar... Now Edgar probably knows about werewolves or lichens, but... This is, uh... This is not something he's used to. Uh, hmm. Bullet, bullet. 
Oh, oh, yes, um, well, uh, shall we talk about this, sir? Um, I can use these. Stay away, creature. Or I shall give you a proper anointing. He is going to stay away. Hmm. Oh, no, he's not. My goodness, that's a blinker. Come on. I'll give you a blinker. Get over here. Oh, that hurt. Good, I suppose. <laughs> Foul beast. Appears I've I found myself a cup of cold coffee here. Now I will be using some terms from my time period, and you might not understand. So I w I will try to explain myself when I can. I the feeling I'm being watched. It's not. It's not pleasant for a man like me to be feel like he's being watched. But um, having a cup of cold coffee is, is basically misfortune. It's when things go bad. You get a cup. Of Nobody likes a cup of cold coffee. Well, maybe some people do, but in my era, it's. Not exactly something you look to find. Good sir, please. I was just wandering the streets. I'm not even drunk. Hey! Sir? Sir. I believe you've experienced a bit of dash fire. Uh, nothing? Hmm. I feel so... weak. I've only killed two creatures and I've already covered in blood. I guess suppose for a man like Edgar... It's it's to be expected. Now you did hear that scream, right? No, I did. You there? Oh, you must be a hunter, and not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time. Now, it will probably You're take me some time to get Edgar to get. into his own in terms of his well, I character. I um, I don't know his mannerisms know. yet. I don't know. I, I have a general sense of who Edgar Allen is, but... You know, having not met the man... Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm. It's hard to say exactly how he would react, but we'll try. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing charge. The charge controls all knowledge on blood ministry. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town, and deep within Cathedral, the birthplace of the healing. Okay, we normally they wouldn't let the hunt is on. We'll be skipping most dialogue. Let's let's go use this contraption. Where 
How did I end up here? I'm dreaming. Am I dreaming? Well, Edgar has to use a cane and a pistol. Oh. has to get the notebook because he's he's got to write whatever down that happens to him who's this gentleman he's infirm uh -huh. you must be the new hunter welcome to the hunter's dream this will be your home for now for now how long is now a month of Sundays Airman, friend to you hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. Hmm. All right, Rusty Guts. That's a bit better. Let us return. To here. Now another thing Edgar will be doing is Edgar will be covering everything. He's going to leave no stone unturned. Edgar will... will poke his pug nose in every dirty area. He's... He's a weak man, but he's he's not a totally meek. He's he's he has a strong mind in terms of facing hardship. But does he have the strength to overcome said hardships? Are you out on the hunt? Then I'm very sorry. I cannot open this door. Oh, I am wearing my sit -upons. I am Yosefka. The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. I know that you hunt for us, for our town, but I am sorry. Please. This is all that I can do. Now, Blood. Go. And good hunting. Ah, <sighs> that woman was no use whatsoever. Is that foul beast gone? Yes, it is. All right. Let us... You? I killed you once, sir. Die. This town's finished. Wonderful, a world where dead things come back to life. Yeah, I thought Raven was bad. So many bodies and so few walls. Okay, okay, we can do this. Edgar can do this. He just needs a drink. <laughs> Good sip drink. No, don't get up from me, fellow. Hey! Hey! Enough of that! Hey! People don't like fire in their face. Dare you.
Oh, sorry, gentlemen. Didn't see you there. These people do not want me here. They wish me. They wish me dead. I shall serve it to them. Foul. This place is. This place is. I don't know what this place is, but I don't like it. Dirty and filled with angry people. Oh my god. What kind of beast is this? Oh, he's not dead. That's not good. Oh. 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 Hmm. Give me more blood. It I think I'm going to have to get used to blood. Uh, it's just drinking it, seeing it, being covered in it. It's a bit uncouth, wouldn't you say? I mean, I'm a girl Poe, but I I like to think I have some you semblance have of. Sign. I don't well, know. Sorry, but I don't want to do with you. Poshness? Not long, I'm not rich. Edgar had to drop sign, out of college because well, of money issues. I think long, he gambled. You? He did gamble. He's a gambler. A drinker. A marrier of 13 year old girls. Don't judge him. Back then it was okay. Wouldn't do it now, of course. It's wrong. I'm not saying Edgar wasn't a bit of a creep. I mean, if you've read his work, you know he's a bit of a creep. Okay. So be it. Don't you shoot me, sir. I want a rifle. Although a pistol is a gentleman's weapon. Cage. Cage. A cane. Maybe because it's Edgar, he can somehow communicate with these people because he's an author. He's experienced these darkness or whatever you'd want to call these things, this place. Some semblance of familiarity. Greed, contempt. Times, but but maybe he could get them to see things his way. <laughs> Probably not. Most likely, not. Edgar has a dog. Edgar has a very irritating dog, but he loves him. Oh, no guns. Guns are bad. No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, through the fence. Through the fence! Look at this guy hitting me through the fence. And Edgar experiences death again. Which would he prefer? Falling down incoherent in the street or being mowed down by evil human beings probably take incoherent to street uh, I think about it 
That was quite misfortunate. That was most definitely a cold cup of coffee. Oh, he's on to me. Ah! Just keep swinging, Edgar. Ah! You just missed me so much. You had to come chase me down to tell me that there's a sale at Bloomies. Does Bloomies exist? I don't think it does. I apologize. Sometimes we are unaware of what we say. Things come from a, a place I'm unaware of. Pop culture. I, sir, am no foul beast. Let's try this again, shall we? Get it right this time, Edgar. Your bullets. You huh. Ow. Lure is effective. Is it now? So is kill. <laughs> you like fire, do you? Come here. There are steps? Yes, there are steps. Oh! Edgar didn't do anything wrong. He just woke up here a few minutes ago. Oh! Edgar, 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 relax, relax. It's okay, buddy. Put the torch away. Now. Do it. Now. Okay. Then don't. Okay, perhaps we can do a little bit better this time. Go get these delicious goodies. Come here, doggy. Hmm. And you. Is that man shooting at me? He's got my blood. He stole my blood. I will not pocket such things. You, sir, come here. I'd be more than happy to go away, but you keep coming up to me. Give me my blood echoes back. Thank you and good day. Alright. Edgar needs to collect all the loot he can and knock as many people into the fire as he can because burning is fun. Edgar likes burning things. Okay. That's a little more like it, Edgar. No need for trivialities here. Just keep pushing forward. Keep killing everything in your way. I'm feeling a little confident. Of course, that's when... 
that's when things happen. But Edgar's starting to feel like, uh, like he's more powerful than he thought he was. I would have liked to make his head wider, his forehead wider. He seems to have one of those kind of triangle, upside down triangle shaped heads. Where his chin is like a little smaller and his forehead is a little bigger, but I can only spend so much time. He's pretty good. I mean, if you look at a picture of Edgar Allan Poe, the hair could be a little curlier. But, not too bad, if I do say so myself. Edgar is appreciative that he's alive again. Tying a syphilis is no fun. Hey! Pooch, come here. Now, now. The other dog. Not what I wanted to happen. I'm very surprised I didn't get hit once there. Now this one dog will kill him. No? Okay. Oh, I didn't think you, I thought you were reloading. You horrible man. You are now perpendicular. Now I think Edgar might need to use some items. Uh oh. Okay, he's okay now. Well, maybe not. Come now, wolf. We can talk about this. There's no need for. No need for this. Don't make me flack in your eyes, sir. Hey! Hey! No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it now. Stop it now. <sighs> Whew. Edgar. Good job. <sighs> I should have been a fart catcher. Pitiful job, really, but better than this. Better than whatever this is. Oh, what now? Down to this pit. Sir, could you could you tell me where the closest tavern is? No. Fine. So be it. Maybe this man will tell me. Sir, I could I could use a bit of a drink. Would you mind telling me no? No? Ah, and he struck me. This is, this is horrible. I doubt you'll be any friendlier. 
Nope. He won't. Not dead. Not dead. Not dead. Dead. Ooh. Ah! No! Come here, filthy rat. Ooh, knives, those I know about. A knife, I know. Saw cleavers and hammers. Ooh! Filthy rat. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Ah. Give me a why do rats have daggers? Come now, rat. Tell me why you have a dagger. Tell me why you're so abnormally large. Rats are not meant to be this large. Get! Ugh! Oh. Ugh! Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting creatures. I mean, I'm a rich man, but... I don't belong down here. Hey, you try to make a living writing in the 1800s. It's not easy. Another one of these things. Of course, it's not dead. Because why would things die when I shoot them and then stab them? Doesn't get the hint. Ooh, better clothes. Now we will be putting some style on Edgar at some point. You know, he's not going to wear a helm though, because we need to see his face. But for now, this is considerably better. And you know what? It, it It's not quite Edgar's style, but it's it's better than the... ...than the horrible starting clothes. Ugh, it gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Filthy, slimy, gross, disgusting... Oh, I don't think Edward would really use the word gross, would he? Unless it was a gross injustice. Which, I suppose, in this case, it is. Being down in this pit with these slimy half this uh oh, give me murder and suicide any day. Ugh, 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 ugh. Oh, there's more of them. Get away. Away. What are you? What are you foul beasts? <sighs> this is not a put This is not a place for Edgar. It really isn't. He should be in a nice little room. With a cup of tea. This is probably not the smartest idea. And a typewriter. Hopefully you know what a typewriter is. Oh, we did good. Yes, it is. Edgar Allan Poe shows up, everything goes to shit. Oh! Hey. Ugh. Break your barrels. Is there whiskey in those? Oh. 
What was that? Something frittering around down there. Another one of these creatures. Level ground. Hey, he disappeared. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh. Edgar is no muscle man. By any stretch of the imagination. Edgar just wants to get himself out of this place and back to Philly or Baltimore. Anywhere. Other than Yard. It's not his cup of tea. By your dress, I'd say you're German. Oh, a hunter, are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. Are you telling me? Still lingering about. What's wrong? No matter. Okay. What are you in no a hunt? Oh, wrong one. Um good day, my lady. Where Edgar comes from, you always bow to a lady. Even when you're drunk. Most especially when you're drunk. Ah! Uh, more rats. They were being under huggers. Sneaking, hiding. Edgar will not allow that. Oh, what's this? Edgar likes knowledge. What the? Something to my brain. Honor bright, we will get all the good stuff in this place. We will find every secret. Oh, no, we didn't want to do that yet. Oh, let's, let's... I know this place, it's just... Somehow my memory is telling me this is a bit dangerous. Didn't want to do it that way. We've got a freak behind us. A man shooting us. He's not dead. Great. Okay. Okay, Edgar. Good job. Should have been the Olympic. Edgar's been working out.
He's not very lucky, though. Getting a lot of blood vials and not much else. Which is unfortunate. Um, we will go down and get that. Because, why wouldn't we? I need more wealth for college. We'd like to go back to college. University of Virginia, I believe? Yes, Virginia. Oh. I wish to be back in Virginia. Ah, oh, instead of this wretched place. Oops. That I think we need. I know thee well. More ravens hiding? Oil. Hmm. Don't have a lantern. Alrighty. We're good. I think we can move forward. Oh no. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, Raven, we're supposed to be friends. Down? Oh. Rendus. Ladies are no ladies. Give me your good goods. Your sundries. Save me a trip to the general store. <laughs> Buy you a good beer at the... Wah! Perhaps a ginger beer. That's good. Ah! Don't you have people to come down here and clean this stuff up? Ugh. Oh, beast! Oh, pick up a bikini. Hold on, I take that back. Maybe you're not so foul. Shouldn't shouldn't make fun of the infirm. More oh, ravens. Don't you recognize me? And a giant pig. I like me some pork. Ooh. Back again. I am no veterinarian, sir. Ugh. Takes me for. Oh. I haven't had this I think, much exercise since my honeymoon. Ow. 
My keen writer senses tell me, do not go up those steps just yet. I think I will listen to them. But I do want to rid the streets of these. Now, now, I... I understand he was your brother. But he came at me... with... something. Some kind of... weapon. I had to defend myself, I'm sorry. Edgar's doing okay. He died once, but he came back, as he is wont to do. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, I think we're okay. Are we okay, Edgar? Are we okay? We're okay. Whew. Edgar likes a fair fight. He enjoys a good tete a tete. Hmm. Go this way. Hey! See you there? Hide from me? Pungent cocktail! Now we're talking! When the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the great bridge to Cathedral Ward, as old Yarnum burned to the ground at moonlit night. We know all about moonlit nights, don't we? Old Yarnum burnt to the ground. Why did they burn it? You build cities, you don't burn them. Ah. We've come full circle, friends. But we're not done yet. Edgar feels there are a few more tasks to complete here. And we have a little time left. So let's complete them. Let us pull every sundry from this location. Including that one that one. So I'm hoping Edgar will grow. And I will get better at playing him and being him. But this is the first attempt. This is my first try. So please bear with me. I don't exactly know how he's going to round out in the end. But he certainly... He certainly made for this world in terms of psyche. Maybe not in physics, physics, in physicality. But his psyche is certainly built for a place like this. He knows all too well the evils that lurk in men. Ah, oh, now we know we can't help this woman now. She's going to speak to us, but we can't help her. 
No, we don't. I'm sorry. Not yet. Too soon. Stop that cackling. Now I think we have one more little ditty to do. One more task to complete. And I believe... Yeah, we'll have to go down in this pit one more time. Should be somewhere back here. If my writer senses are tingling, and they certainly are. Up above, above again. Lots of ladders. Should have bought a bicycle. Not in the best of shape. <sighs> a lot of breath. Ugh. Killing all the ravens. No, don't want to do it. Oh, more knowledge. He liked the way that felt. It's kind of like opium. Oh. <laughs> Pebble. Lovely. You there. Good sir. Tobacco shop? No? Okay. So be it. Doesn't know where the tobacco shop is. Just had a bit of opium, was hoping to Whatever. He's not listening. Hello? Medgar Allen Pub. Um, hunter, writer, connoisseur of fine opiates. I know the feeling. Well, of course, she's a little girl. Hopefully she's younger than 13, or... Edgar might be attracted to her. Ugh, ugh, Edgar. I know it's a sign of the times, but... I'll try, little girl. I mean, you have to help her. Ooh. We forgot some goodies. You, sir. The other man did tell me... They don't even let you finish speaking. As if they want to kill you. It's their only desire. Torch. Could come in handy. Got that. Okay. Edgar has completed Central Yarnum except for one little task. So he must run and run and run and kill and kill and kill. And get killed. No, he's not gonna get killed. Yes, indeed. Indeed it is. You have terrible aim, sir. As do I. Let us return to that dream, shall we? I think it would be prudent to do so. So 
So we've collected some of these blood baubles. and blanks okay hello good hunter I am a doll here in this train to look after you honorable hunter and I will channel them and you will hunt beasts and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit you're a tall woman very well let me stop now Edgar is weak He must become strong. If he's to face these abominations. Mm. That's good. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth. I'll try. She is a doll. Okay, we've got a little bit of time left. Let us venture forth. And hopefully, end Edgar's Edgar's first foray with a bang because remember this is not Edgar's world but he feels he feels like he is supposed to be here for some reason like he fits here despite all the things trying to kill him Oh, Edgar! Can't hit the broad side of a barn. Don't get shot. Getting shot would be bad. Perhaps. Edgar senses a foul beast. <laughs> Edgar knows there's a foul beast. How he knows, he doesn't know. But he knows there's a foul beast on the other side of this gate. And it is not a friendly raven. And it is definitely not something we can stuff behind a wall. Oh, Edgar, there's a reason you didn't play baseball.
Edgar, Edgar. Edgar! Where did you get this from? Edgar has no idea where this has come from. He simply feels the power of his writing within him coming forth like a wildfire. Like some kind of... Oh! No! Edgar, don't get lost. Don't get lost. Stay alive! Edgar! feels the power, the sense, the insight. <sighs> Thank you all for watching, everyone. Edgar's story will continue. He will grow as a man, as a beast, as a whatever he is. And he will learn to, to kill, to fight. Let's so